Hello. We are discussing about GATE 2006 ECE paper. Topic we are discussing is electron devices. This is fifth two mark question came in GATE 2006. For the circuit shown below, assume the Zener diode is ideal with a breakdown voltage of 6 volts. The waveform observed across R is Look at the waveforms A, B, C, D. Here the Zener diode is supplied with a sinusoidal signal V input is equal to 12 sin omega t. If we apply 12 sin omega t for a Zener diode whose breakdown voltage of 6 volts. By that time what can be the output voltage which we are taking across resistor. The correct answer for this question is B. Positive maximum across resistor is 6 volts. Negative maximum across resistor is minus 12 volts. We will see the details now. We know the characteristics of Zena diode. If the voltage across Zena diode is positive, at that time Zena diode will be in forward bias. If the voltage across Zena diode is less than 0 and it is less than breakdown voltage, by that time it will be under reverse bias where it acts as open circuit. If the voltage across Zener diode under reverse bias is greater than Zener breakdown voltage, then it acts as constant voltage source where it maintains the voltage across Zener diode as constant that is at 6 volts in this problem. So we have to identify for what regions for the given input signal when the Zener diode is under forward bias, is under reverse bias, is under breakdown region. Based on that one, we have to identify the voltage across the diode and voltage across resistor is nothing but input minus diode voltage. This was the given circuit. 12 sin omega t is going to be applied for the Zena diode. 12 sin omega t is nothing but it is a sinusoidal signal whose maximum voltage is plus 12 and minimum voltage is minus 12. And we are dividing the input waveform into three regions where the input voltage may be 0 to plus 6 volts and if the input voltage is in between 6 to 12 volts and if the input voltage is going to be less than 0 volts. Because the Zener diode if you are applying negative voltage it comes into forward bias. In forward bias you will get only one option that is nothing but it can act as short circuit. So for voltages less than 0 the diode comes into forward bias. That's why we are going with region 3. This is the entire only one region because for all these negative voltages the Zena diode comes into forward bias. Whereas whenever you are applying positive voltages, positive voltages whenever you are applying for this Zena diode shown, the Zena diode comes into reverse bias. Under reverse bias it has two options. It may be under reverse bias or it may go into Zena breakdown region. Based on the voltage you are applying for that Zener diode. So here we are going with 0 to 6 volts is one case and above 6 is going to be the second case. So this entire input waveform is divided into three cases. Case 1, case 2, case 3. Look at the case 1. If the input voltage is greater than 6 volts and less than greater than 0 volts and less than 6 volts if the input voltage is in between 0 to 6 volts that is the input voltage we are applying is less than Zener breakdown voltage and this is positive voltage we are applying it to the negative terminal of diode so that this Zener diode comes into reverse bias but it will be under reverse bias only since the applied voltage is less than 6 volts so that diode 2 is reverse bias which is acting as open circuit under open circuit there is no current flows so output voltage is going to be treated as 0 volts this is the equivalent circuit simply the diode is replaced with open circuit so under open circuit no current flows through this resistor so voltage drop across this resistor is nothing but I into R I is 0 so that voltage drop across this resistor is also 0 so during portion 1 during the region 1 output voltage is 0 second one we are coming for the second case. 
when the input voltage is greater than or equal to 6 volts and it is less than or equal to 12 volts so if the input voltage is in between 6 to 12 volts now this 6 to 12 volts is going to be applied to negative terminal of zener diode and side of zener diode so that zener diode comes into breakdown region where it is acting as a constant voltage source whose voltage is equal to its zener voltage that is 6 volts now the zener diode is maintaining 6 volts we need to calculate voltage across resistor now this is the equivalent circuit while drawing the voltage source ensure that one n side you must connect it plus side positive and p side it is negative so plus minus since it is reverse bias so that opposite polarity n side positive terminal p side negative terminal and v input you are applying so the diode comes into the zener breakdown region for this case so v input values can be 0 can be 6 to 12 volts only and v naught can be written from this diagram as v in minus 6 minimum is 0 volts whenever v input is 6 volts maximum is whenever v input is equal to 12 volts v naught can be 6 volts so the maximum voltage you are going to get is 6 volts third case when v input is less than 0 less than 0 that is for all negative voltages the diode is forward bias and act as short circuit whenever it is act as short circuit at that time the output voltage is same as input voltage so v naught is equal to v input if you club all these three conditions this is the output waveform with red color and input waveform with block line so during position 1 that is during case 1 output voltage is 0 so that this is 0 and during portion 2 v in minus 6 v in minus 6 starting from 6 to 12 volts whenever v in is 6 volts v naught is 0 whenever v in is 12 volts at that time v naught is at most 6 volts but it is going to be following the input signal since v naught is proportional to v input so sinusoidally it is changing from 0 to 6 volts during this portion next again third case is nothing but diode is forward bias so that v naught is equal to v input how much voltage you are applying at input that will be at the output side if you apply minus 1 volt output is minus 1 volt if you apply minus 6 output will be minus 6 if you apply minus 12 output will be minus 12 so simply output follows the input waveform during third case v naught is equal to v in for second case v naught is v in minus 6 for first case v naught is 0 so this is the required answer the correct answer for the given question is b thank you